Introducing first, out of the blue corner, wearing white trimmed with blue and weighing in at 146 pounds. He has an outstanding professional record consisting of 33 victories, including 27 knockouts with four losses. 22 of those 27 KOs came in three rounds or less. He's known to fans around the world as a throwback to another era. With his heart, ferocious punching power and sheer determination, he is recognized as the ultimate blood and guts warrior. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the pride of Jersey City, New Jersey, the former junior lightweight champion of the world, Arturo Hundagahi. Across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing burgundy, trimmed with gold, and weighing in at 147 pounds. He captured Olympic gold in 1992, and now, as a professional in 34 bouts, he has 32 victories, including 26 knockouts. His only two defeats were by disputed decisions. In 21 bouts, a world title was on the line, and he won five championships in four divisions. He returns to the ring tonight, resolved to once again march forward on the path to glory. Ladies and gentlemen, from East L.A., presenting the five-time champion of the world, the golden boy, Oscar. questions? Okay, the belly button is, is the line. You're a little bit above the belly button, but not very much. That's good, so it's going to be the belly button and the hip bone. We have 12 rounds. Obey my commands. Touch gloves. Let's go to work. Let's go. The first thing to look for in this fight is whether Gaddy can deal with Oscar De La Hoya's excellent jab. If he can't deal with the jab, it will be short and bloody. Five years ago, when Oscar De La Hoya first fought Julio Cesar Chavez here in Las Vegas, he cut him in the first 30 seconds of the fight with a jab. No one at ringside would be tremendously shocked if De La Hoya cut Gatti in the first round. First landed punch is a jab by Gatti. That's not a good sign when you have a superior jabber comes in and let his opponent get the initial jab in. Thunder is largely found in his big left hook. And if Arturo has a puncher's chance here, as even his most ardent supporters will acknowledge is probably the case, that punch is the left hook. Now the one thing that De La Hoya didn't do originally was jab to the body good. He'd always have an excellent jab on top. This time he's gone to the body. And you take chances when you reach down into those little guys' territory, though. They pay you. Against 130 and 135 pound fighters, Gotti always looked bigger and stronger than his opponents. Now, for the first time, he faces off against a man naturally larger than himself. You think about it, Oscar De La Hoya is moving his head, bobbing and weaving. He's got the height advantage. You don't want that. Right hand for De La Hoya. Lloyd Mayweather Jr. promises that Oscar will make his seemingly underdeveloped right hand into a much bigger weapon in this phase of his career. Gaddy has always been vulnerable to the right hand, Jim. Angel Man Freddy hurt Gaddy with a right hand early, and that punch ultimately led to Gaddy's demise. Big left hook by Gaddy. The first thing I notice is that Gaddy is doing more ducking and head movement to avoid the jab, and that's why De La Hoya has been unable to establish it as yet. And the problem with that is De La Hoya is bending his knees to try to jab. You don't want to give up your height advantage to a puncher. Let him reach and miss up on top. Don't let him, don't be down there where he wants you. Right hand inside by Gatti. De La Hoya flicked him with the left. gives up 
this jail, he's just an ordinary boxer out there fighting for his life. He gives up his reach. He's got his legs spread far apart. Now De Loya lands his first effective combination and crumbles Gunny with a trademark left hook. And Four. Oscar De Loya Four. left hook. Too Six. big for Gunny. Six. And there's blood flowing Eight. already Gunny. from Go under right. Artura Gunny's Go right on. eye. Body left hook. Upstairs combinations. Can Gotti finish the round? Remember, Gotti has been there before. De Loya fireworks in the last 30 seconds of round one. There's the blood under Gotti's eye. Well, you're waiting. Right there, you stand up and spray. Go. Work in, dog. Work in for me. Go. For me. For me. Hurry up. Joe Souza, the cut man, him, like the using a one-pound end swell on Gaddy. Another look at the knockdown, Larry. Gaddy was doing excellently until he stood straight up and caught that left hook late in the round. Up until that time, he had fought what for him would be regarded as a perfect round. Oscar De La Hoya is a welterweight with a middleweight left hook. And that left hook was the difference in round one. The problem for Gaddy is he has to fight a perfect fight to have any chance to stay here. And now Gaddy comes out winging shots from both sides, seemingly already ready to let it go for broke. A very busy Oscar De La Hoya threw 73 punches in round one and looks energetic at the beginning of round two as well. Oh, an uppercut, right hand uppercut by Gotti, momentarily stumbled Oscar. Fox! De La Hoya going to the body with the jab again, George. That's his weapon. You want to keep that jab, but the difference is he's going to the body with it. Sets up a four-punch combination upstairs. Gotti goes to the body with a right hand. And that takes a difference when you're throwing five and six combinations. You get hit to the body, then you start getting winded. Round erupts as Gotti tries to come back over the top of Oscar's guard. And pops De La Hoya with two jabs. I don't like Oscar being hit with left jabs by a shorter opponent. It just doesn't work. Well, he's leaning in, George. He's almost leaning over that front foot. It's not That's good okay. at all. That's okay. Leans in, goes to the body. Double shot to the body. Two right hands hand. Hands upstairs. Something new, a right hand. Absolutely. He has mixed in the right hand much more effectively here than ever before. Here's a guy, got him, who's been on the floor. He's gotten up before in his life. He's been blooded. This is not going to bother him. It's only what have you done to me lately, not what you did. Oh, in a, in a way, the farther he falls behind on the scorecards, the no, more dangerous Gotti will become because he he'll get a, more reckless. He has a left hook. Watch your heads. Question will be. How long can Gotti last in the fight with the blood flowing the way it is? But the big gash is under his eye, not above it. Ooh, Excellent body, body. body. And another right hand to the body. And De Loya has clearly worked to make the right hand better. I like he throws his punches and step back and invites the guy to come in for more. series on the record with Bob Costas. Last week, Bob talked with baseball superman Mark McGuire and with Jersey's other boss, Highway 9's Bruce Springsteen. And did you see Bob's conversation a couple weeks ago with Vince McMahon? 
The show is live, so don't miss it. On Wednesdays at 11 p.m., only on HBO. We're okay. Stop coming, okay? I told you, go pre run with him. He's going to win. You know what I say? Come on, Pop. Move that head. Okay, I'm going to run. Make him need some hitting. Look at me. Look at me. Okay? It's, we stop coming. Work the body more. Work the body more. Okay? Numbers in round number two. Eloy landed 32 of 42 power shots. Seconds out. Substantiating.